Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Let's talk about events and sequential process. The events tab contains options for configuring email notifications or run commands for specific events that occur when a workflow is run. This tab is not available for batch, interactive, and location optimizer macros. And we can find this tab right here. Let's click on it. To enable events, select to enable events to trigger an email or run command. Just like that. To add a send mail event, we just need to click on add and then send email. In run event when, select when the event will run relative to the workflow event. The options are before run, which will send an email before the workflow is run, after run, will send an email after the workflow is run, after run with errors, send an email after the workflow is run, but only if the workflow ran with errors, after run without errors, send an email after the workflow is run but only if the workflow ran without errors and disable turn the event off after that you need to enter your smtp server configuration i recommend you to contact your it department to know which is the address of your smtp server it can be an ip address or just a name and after that, you need to put a valid value for port. Also, you can obtain this information with your IT department. The SMTP setting uses port 25 by default. These default settings I provided, but can be overridden. So, port 25 is used when the encryption is known port 465 when SSL slash TLS is selected and port 587 when start TLS is selected via encryption. If you want to authenticate the event, check the authentication box and provide a valid username and password. In from Enter the email address from which the email will appear to be sent. Must be a valid email address. In 2. Enter the email address to which the email will be sent. Must be a valid email address as well. In subject, enter the text to appear in the email subject line. The attachments are optional. And in the body, enter the text to appear in the email body. And then you just need to click on OK to save your event. If you want to do the same process triggering a command, it's just click in add, run command, and then select when the event will run relative to the workflow event, put your command, the arguments, if necessary, and a timeout in seconds. This timeout is the amount of time that the command will use as maximum time limit to execute your command. So you can combine 
events and commands related to workflow events as you wish to accomplish your goal. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.